Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Welcome back outside in Dublin right now. It's dark. It's a little bit chilly out there. Our cold spot was Eastman at 39. Dublin isn't far behind at 41 right now, but luckily the wind out there is calm, so we really aren't dealing with too many wind chills to get things going today. Skies are clear. Obviously not worried about any rain to get things going either. Continuing to deal with that fire weather threat as we head into today, this time in effect until 8 p.m. tonight. Uh, but yeah, that's what this special weather statement is about. High fire danger. Now, this is the highest they'll go without putting out a red flag watch or red flag warning. Now, that's what this pink is up here in Virginia and West Virginia. That is a red flag warning in relation to a decent amount of wind, very dry conditions being driven by this high pressure that's uh, moving through. It's going to be very hot later on today. UV index for Macon 9.3 across the region between 9 and 10. So we're once again talking about 15 minutes or so before you start to burn. Staying hydrated, very important to do. While it's hot and sunny like this outside, sunscreen obviously important. Uh, finding shade is going to be difficult unless you're in a building, you know, behind the building or like by a tree because cloud cover is still going to be very, very hard to come by today. I do believe we'll be getting a little higher than what these numbers say here. Still a decent amount above the ambient average for April, which is 64.5. I want to say the average high is 76 point something, but we're above that too. <laughs> Low 80s for our highs this afternoon. Dublin, Gordon up to 82. Those are the hot spots. Macon, Warner Robins will reach 81. Up to 80 in Perry as well as McRae. Those are the cool spots. So it looks like everywhere should get up into the lower 80s today. And if somewhere doesn't, They'll get there tomorrow. So staying very dry once again, those dew points going to continue to hang down in these 30s while those temperatures soar up into the 80s. The big difference between today and yesterday, aside from the fact that it's hotter outside, is there's less wind. So at least that's going for us in terms of trying to mitigate that fire threat a little bit. So it's still very, very dry conditions overall. We're just not used to seeing humidity values like this here in middle Georgia. Heading into the morning, we start to see the dew points rise a little bit because finally the wind's going to break away out of the north and become variable. This is still way too much of a gap for there to be any chance for fog out the door in the morning, waking up to temperatures that are largely in the low 50s, dew points that are in the 40s. Tomorrow afternoon, hot out there, still pretty dry. Dew points though are rising as we see actual temperatures peaking in the mid 80s. And then when we head into Thursday morning, that's when we'll have our first chance for some patchy fog. Uh, but still very, very dry conditions throughout most of this week. We'll wake up to upper 40s and lower 50s out the door tomorrow. You'll still want that light jacket to kick things off. In 10 seconds, I'll have your extended forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, good oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. Your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. It is a gorgeous week. Low is a little on the hot side, well above average. For this time of year, we start to see some cloud cover return during the afternoon hours of Friday. Heading into the early parts of Saturday, you can see some storms till about lunchtime. And then as we head through the rest of the weekend, a little cooler. But the sun returns.